inside yourself. Hey guys, it's your girl Valerie Ortiz and you're watching American Latino TV celebrating American Latino pride. And if you are looking for stories that might inspire you to do more with your time, your energy, and your dreams, look no further than this week's episode. Kicking things off is a young composer who is taking the world of movie music production by storm. Lucas Vidal is one of the fastest rising film score mavens of the past few years, breaking through with his work on soundtracks for the likes of Fast and Furious 6 and The Raven. Dividing his time between his home country of Spain and the U.S., Vidal became the youngest Berklee College of Music student ever to compose and record the score to a feature film with a full orchestra. Now he runs the LA-based Music and Motion Productions, or MUMO, where the approach to creating the music for some of Hollywood's biggest films is often, let's just say, outside the box. Brought to you by State Farm. For auto, home, life, and banking, get to a better state. My name is Lucas Vidal, and I do music uh, for films. I did films like Fast and the Furious, uh, The Raven, The Call Light of Day, and uh, now I'm working on The Kidnapping of Freddie Heineken. And uh, I did uh, The Quiet Once, an amazing horror movie by John Polk. I'm from Spain, and uh, my grandfather actually had a record label. It was called Ispa Box. So music was always in my family. So I started playing piano when I was three years old, and I loved classical music, so that's how I started. Well, when I was 16, I attended a summer program at Berkeley College of Music in, in Boston, and I found that they had a film music degree. So I fell in love with that. I was like, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. They gave me a scholarship, and that was like my idea, to go to Berkeley, and uh, I loved it. And that's where I met my business partner, Steve Bialowski, and then we created the company Music and Motion Productions. This is, I think, our fourth or fifth session, and uh, here we are, a lot of people today. We start with a 70-piece orchestra, then we went to 100, 120 and then we end up uh, doing the final project at the Boston Symphony Hall with like 140 or 150 players. So it was very fun because that was the best way to, to learn how to do music for films by doing it. Yeah, I'm young, <laughs> which is good and bad. Especially when I started, it was bad because some meetings that I had with the producers they were like, okay, uh, who are you? Like, you look like 15 with this hair. But I think that music talks by itself, and then if they see that I'm responsible and that I can deliver, then, then it doesn't matter the age. But I think nowadays it's not a problem. I mean, I'm 30 right now, and, and I've done like 15 or 16 films, and they know that I'm a very serious guy, and I have like a company with, with my business partner, and I have like a structure. When I was 20, I had cancer and I had to go back to Spain, take chemotherapy, and it helped me a lot. Actually, now I'm very happy to know that I went through that process and the chemotherapy and everything because it really gave me a wider vision of life. And um, I thought like, okay, now I'm a survivor and uh, I wanna make my dream come true. It was difficult, but again, I had a very positive approach to it, and I was with my friends, and uh, we were joking all the time, so they even shaved their hair. So it was, in a way, fun, hard, but fun. Plus, my father is a doctor, so that helped a lot. I want to be in front of an orchestra, I want to do action films, horror films, like whatever films, but I really want to work doing this, and that's my life. I know it's hard but it's not so much about talent, but dedication and being like doing it and knowing that it's very difficult at the beginning, but when we first started, both Steve and I, like I remember the first meetings that people wouldn't take us serious, and, uh, and, uh, but it's about trying harder and harder and harder and then you get what you want in life. 